Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So days like today aren't fun for me, but I gotta film the video anyway. I gotta break the trades down. Trade number 126 and trade number 127. We're both losers. Both red, red on the day, starting Monday off in the hole by 2R. I'm gonna show you the trades. Today was extremely whippy, extremely indecisive in the first 15 minutes for AMD. And if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I'm gonna briefly discuss kind of what I look for when I enter into the opening of the day. And before we jump in, I'm just gonna roll this real quick. This is my disclaimer, just saying that I'm some random guy that just likes to trade in the markets. I love the markets. I'm not certified in anything. I'm not a financial planner. Don't take my advice. These are just my opinions, and I just wanna show you my experience. So with that, let's break this down. I was watching this pre-market action today on AMD and it was looking really nice. Look how this is stepping forward, stepping up, stepping up, break out up. I could have swore that we were going long today. When we got this breakout, because this, this candle formed suddenly in the last, probably last minute and a half before the market opened, it sort of lurched forward. It looked really good. And I thought, okay, I think we're going to go long. Got my order set up and then it just tipped upside down and we started to kind of push to the downside. So I'm gonna play this trade right now and I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. So what I'm doing is I'm watching this last 15 minute candle, the high and the low. I like to take a break out above the high and I like to take a break down below the low. So that's kind of my strategy. I trade AMD every day, I trade breakouts every day, I take either one trade or two trades and then I'm done for the day. I'm really controlled. My strategy is super simple, and my goal is to be right better than 50% of the time. I hold for 2.5R targets and greater. I have a strategy for catching longer runners. So let's dive into this one. You're gonna see me get short below the low. Right now I'm not triggered. There I'm in, got a really good fill. Just two 600 lots, really nice fill, really quick. You can see that my stop loss triggered immediately so it's in place. And now I'm just waiting for this to break down. And I thought, you know, if we get below this support level from the pre-market, maybe, just maybe, we'll, we'll push to the downside and have a nice day. So just watching this start to play out, it was acting a little temperamental. It just didn't seem to pick up any momentum really ever. And I'm kind of down most of the time. You can see right there I'm down about $45, I do go green in just a second. And I kind of got excited because I thought, okay, we're gonna start moving, people are gonna pile in. Um, about break even, there I go green. I'm up about 80 bucks, $100, $150, almost $225, $290. We, I don't, I'm not sure if we hit 300 or not, let's see. We got to 290 something, and it was looking pretty good. And I thought, all right, let's see what happens here. Even if it wants to breathe a little bit, that's fine because we're far enough away from the entry point now that we can swing and move around a little bit, which AMD, you know, likes to do on occasion. So I've got no product, you know, no problem with what's happening right now. Everything looks good. But then it just starts to backtrack. And when you start to see a big lower wick, I feel like nine times out of ten, you know what's coming. And now I'm down 45, down 33. It just starts to walk forward and that lurch up told me that I think things are probably over. Now, I'm gonna pause for just a second. I take a full loss. I don't get out of a position early. And the reason I don't do that is because if I were to hit the flatten button right now, right here, which is a market order to get out, let's say price action moved hard to the upside. It could grab my market order, run it up, and I could actually take a bigger loss than what I intended with this stop loss. Now, on the converse side, let's say I slap it down here and I take it off and I make $28. And then it tips over and it runs the rest of the day to the downside. Then you miss a huge opportunity and you can't allow yourself to do that because it will greatly skew your metrics, your R values will be way off. You either need to take the full loser or take the full winner. That's my strategy, that's how I manage things. As I hit play on this, you're gonna see it come back up and it's gonna take me out. And this is gonna conclude my short play, trade number 126. So you can see right there, I got filled at 92.71. I lost two, uh, I lost one R on the trade. One R for me is $300. So now I'm thinking, okay, with this big long wick, maybe we're gonna go long. So 
I flipped to my other account and here we are. And I opened up over here. This is the time in sales. I wanted to have that open because I was curious to know what happens to the pace of the time in sales as we break above the highs of this wick. So I was just loosely keeping an eye on that, waiting for this to bust to the upside. That was a gorgeous fill. I got a 1,200 share fill immediately, which is in stark contrast to last week that was kind of a miserable, horribly slow fill week for me. But we're long now. My stop loss is in place. Everything looks good. I'm up a little bit, and then I go red. And I'm thinking, okay, we'll sag for a minute, but then maybe we're just going to push to the upside because this looks very bullish. And this also matches what we were seeing in that pre-market. We were kind of seeing this scoop to the upside, and it just never got it, its legs. It just sat and sat, and it could not get going. And usually after a certain amount of time where nothing's happening, like it can't take out the highs again, I just start to know this is going to go against me. So I try to hang in there. I try to give it the benefit of the doubt, let it run. Sometimes it just needs to rest before it launches. I've had that happen before. So I just stay in the trade and I just let sort of just let AMD decide what's going to happen. Right now down about 240, 220. It's not looking good and there you go. So I'm out. Took a one-hour loser there. Um, a little slower fill on the exit, so I got a little tiny bit of slippage. But that was the theme of the day. It just, nothing happened for me. It was a, a quick whip to the downside, quick whip to the upside. And then, of course, you know what's coming. I'm going to flip over to the chart so you can see the real price action. And, of course, right after all that whipping, it decided to just surge to the downside. This is a beautiful pattern because you could follow this bar by bar. I like to place my stops above the high of a closing bar, high of a closing bar, high of a closing bar. This would have been beautiful, but we weren't along for the ride because we got so much whip. So today was just extremely whippy. Nothing happened until we hit, um, I guess it would be 9.45. Then something started happening as we saw in this candle. But compared to uh, last trading day, you know, really bad, whippy, nothing, indecisive everywhere. And then we looked like we were going somewhere today and we got the same whip. But then a little bit of directional movement after that with a rebound right back to where it feels comfortable. So AMD continues to be bizarrely whippy and doing nothing. And we'll just wait it out. It's tough to make videos like this because you hate losing 2R. I hate starting off the week in the hole. That's always a, a tough position to be in. But I know that my metrics are what they are. And as long as I just keep putting these trades on, we should make up this drawdown fairly quickly. We'll see what happens tomorrow. And now we're inching very close to the end of the month. And as I've told you before, at the start of January, I'm going to go ahead and film a full December month recap where I'm going to show you the amount of money I made, how many trades I took, I'm going to show you my drawdowns. I'm going to show you everything about my trades. I'm going to open up my TraderView.com account, and we're going to go through everything filtered for the month of December. I want to hear about your trades. How did you do? Drop a comment below. Let me know how your trades went, and tell me what tickers you were trading today. Hope you were green. Hope you were not red like me, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the group. And then go to the YouTube banner and click the Facebook link. Come over and join our private Facebook group with about 200 of us who love to just talk the stock market and kick ideas around. So hope that was helpful and we'll see you tomorrow.